Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. Today I have brought another session on desktop view automation using PyWinAuto. So here I will show you how to automate WinSCP application that is this particular login window in the session. For uh, just I will show you what I am gonna do today. I will just uh, click this uh, combo box and I will select FTP. And then I am gonna write the host name. I will change some port number, username, password, and then I will just click on anonymous login and then click on login button. So this is what I am gonna do today. And in my next video or session, I will be showing you how to interact with the next window and to transfer a uh, file from uh, host to the remote 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 place okay for doing this uh, you need to import a uh, uh, pavin auto module and then you need to import couple of classes application send keys and then a keyboard module from the pavin auto we are going to start the application using app variable app equal application dot start command line and your installation part of windows cp application next is uh, we are just going to focus that particular window app dot login dot set focus and the next uh, what we are going to do is like uh, we are just making it short win equal to app dot t login dialog this is nothing but the function sorry this is nothing but the class of that particular window so if you run this particular key or statement win dot print control under print underscore control underscore identifiers you, you will be getting some output like this and if you see in the top it will say you uh, what kind of uh, class this window is I will just show you yeah here you go title is login and the class name is t login dialog so this is how I'm gonna make it short like clip now it is uh, now we are now we will be calling the remaining statement with win variable okay so next what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna select this particular combo box FTP so let us see where is this FTP find FTP okay so FTP FTP is nothing but it's an item available in a combo box and that combo box can be called using two uh, uh, variables using combo box 3 or login combo box 3 so here I have used combo box 3 for our purpose so if you see here win dot combo box 3 dot select FTP then this time dot slip is nothing but I uh, uh, actually this time dot slip is not required during a real time execution here I will be here I have kept only uh, for you people while running the script it will go slow by slow so that you can notice uh, why uh, how those are being uh, worked so next uh, win dot checkbox 2 dot click this is nothing but for anonymous login so let me uh, find out uh, checkbox So if you see here, checkbox anonymous login, and we can call this in uh, almost three methods, three types. So we have taken checkbox two here. Checkbox two, win dot checkbox two dot click. The next is like uh, we have couple of edits, and then uh, if you see here, we have multiple edits here, and almost uh, sixty-seven edit. Uh, edit, uh, then uh, all are under one. Like if you say edit, all are under one then we have password edit for so password edit right so the password will be called as edit 2 so if you see here first thing I have taken as edit 2 window edit 2 the type keys password and the next is like uh, there are there are almost six type of edits are there and I have randomly uh, uh, typed and figured out like I need edit 3 edit 4 and edit 1 for username machine name and the uh, port number so this is how I have uh, figured out the elements of this particular window. Now let me run the program. This is very simple guys. If you have still any doubts, you can always write down to me at my email address uh, that is provided in the description box. And uh, yeah. Okay. I should have... Uh, okay what's the error there time is not defined okay i think i need to define it import a module called time and this time let me uh, 
comment this out okay let's see okay so if you see ftp got selected two seconds first it selected password then we have selected username after two second machine name then if you see port number now port number and then uh, it check the anonymous login and then login since i don't have any ftp sftp so i'm getting this uh, error message hope you have liked this video if yes uh, please place like button and for more videos please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching